What's up, everyone? It is competition time. We are about to see who knows me better. My beautiful mother, Nilda, or my amazing husband, Israel. You guys, no cheating. <laughs> are you up for the challenge? I'm up, yeah. are you up? Do you, that was like, mm, there was a pause. Are you up for the challenge? We are We're up, up for the challenge. Right. I just feel she's gonna cheat. <laughs> <laughs> so I was stuck there. Here we go. You know, I'm not nervous at all because I really think that her mom's gonna win. So, like, I have very low expectations. Why do you think she's gonna because win? Because she has at least a 29 year jump 30. on Advantage? Advantage, yeah. She 30. says she has a 30 year advantage on you. I met you when you were 29. But I feel like these questions are kind of current. Okay, so, so I'm So you're not. with me every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 <laughs> days a year. I don't let you breathe, we are stuck together. So, and I, I have know. seen your moments also, so. But you also what talk you to mean? your mom. <laughs> She's like, I forget a lot. <laughs> I've seen your moments. She's like, I've you seen also your talk moments. to your mom every single day. That is true. So let's go. So here are the rules. I'm gonna ask them a question. They are both gonna go to their sides. No peeking, no cheating. Mm -hmm. And they're each gonna write down their answer. Okay. Then I am going to say the correct answer and they will reveal their boards and we'll see if anybody got the right answer. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? It yes. makes sense, baby. Boom. Ready? First question. What was my first pet? What kind of pet? What was my first pet? What kind of animal? Pets are normally animals. Mm. What kind of animal did I have as my very first pet? For bonus points, you can say what the animal's name was. Tell me when you're done. I'm ready. I don't know why I have to hold my hands up like this. <laughs> it makes me feel like you guys will know I'm not cheating. Are you done, Mom? Mm hmm Okay, everyone boards down. My first pet was a hamster, and his name was Coco. Reveal. Coco, hamster. A dog named Wednesday. That was my second pet. <laughs> How did Coco die? He was just old and he died. Babe. Okay, Coco wasn't running on his hamster wheel no more. He <laughs> died. And instead of telling us that Coco died, my father, who was a lab technician and worked with animals, decided he would try to trick us and bring home a different animal and just act like, oh, look at Coco. But the man brought home a guinea pig yes, instead. Which a means. huge guinea pig. And we're like, where is Coco? We were not having we that. We were not having that. We didn't want the guinea pig. We wanted Coco back. So the score is one for our New Yorican mama, zero for Israel Houghton. I had to go by your Instagram names. Can we put those in there? Okay, next question. Who is my oldest friend? Wow. Don't be looking at my mom's name. Who has been my friend for the longest time? And you can't include Claudette. You have, you wrote yours already? Mm -hmm. Mommy, come on. I'm done. Oh, you're done? Mm hmm Okay. My oldest friend is Eka, AKA Rebecca Spordoni, my next door neighbor growing Aww. up. Love her to death. That means you got it wrong when I just heard you go, oh. And I got it right. <laughs> Got it wrong. Who'd you say? Oh, mm, this is a hard one. I technically knew Gigi longer. Ooh. But the answer I gave, and we're going by the rules, the answer I gave was Eka. Okay. So, point goes to Israel. Now, you are tied. Yes. Number three. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? Keeping my eyes here. I'm done. I know you're done. Don't look. Okay, go. My favorite ice cream flavor is, duh, pistachio. Oh, yes. Such a what the? Woo! Are you crap? I don't know if I spelled it right, but. Israel, are you joking right now? <laughs> Israel, you can't be serious. We just came from Italy and every single day I had pistachio gelato. <laughs> this has to be a joke. I just want, I wanted I wanted your mom to get No, it. say no. Bible that you really no. I, I, I went blank. What? I know it's pistachio, everybody. I just went blank. You look like the Am world's worst idea? husband right now. What's mine? Israel's favorite flavor is basic, basic, vanilla. basic. No, worse than vanilla. 
mint chocolate chip. It's like I eating chocolate, chocolate and you brush chip. your teeth at the same time. No, I love that's mint disgusting. chocolate chip. That's my favorite too. No, it's not. It is? Yes. Mint chocolate oh, chip. Oh, I would have said, no, you like pistachio, don't you? No. Why? No. I like pistachio. I like mint chocolate chip and uh, the vanilla with the Swiss almonds. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. That's a fancy vainilla. Yo no, yo no lo sabía. <laughs> Ahora lo sabe. Okay. New York and Mama is in the winning. Is that how you say that? She's in the lead, man. That right there. New York and Mama is in the lead. Okay, she's got two points. Israel's got one. Fail. I'm so disappointed in you. You should be. I'm disappointed in myself. What would I prefer? Stilettos or sneakers? We need theme music. Can we get theme music at this point? Like, I'm gonna go against my better. Now when the pressure's on, when she's taking too long and you're like in the final, no, because like doom 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 I'm probably gonna get this wrong. The answer is stilettos. Guys, I'm oh only four God. feet and 11 inches. I have now become more comfortable with heels than I do in sneakers. Reveal your answer, Mama. I've got a great arch yeah. in my foot. I erased it. I did have stilettos, but then I changed it to That's sneakers. That's a great arch. I said, <laughs> duh, stilettos. Duh, yeah. stilettos, and Mommy That's says sneakers. <laughs> I actually erased that. I did put stilettos, and then I erased them to sneakers. You saw me erasing. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Guess yes, what? Okay, okay. You're still my mama. Yeah. Question number five. Score is two to two. This could be a tiebreaker situation right here. Okay, what is my favorite cereal? Ma, you done? Put your thing down. All right, my favorite cereal of all time since I was a little girl is Cheerios, the plain kind. Basic. Cheerios. Cheerios. Good job, mommy put me on to that. Now the score is three to three. Everybody knows I love Cheerios. Okay, what is my favorite pizza toppings? Aha. Uh -huh. It's a difficult one. I'm gonna start timing this. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your pens, put your boards up. <laughs> my, my favorite pizza topping is Bacon and pineapple. Pineapple and bacon. Cheese, what and the heck mushrooms. is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You always like those that, mushrooms. That says cheese and mush. <laughs> That's what that says. You didn't no, growing mine. up, I always preferred plain cheese. But you know, now I'm out here just cultured, with living life palette. with the elevated palate, talking about Hawaiian style pizza with some bacon and some pineapple. I live that sweet and salty life. Thanks. So now, Israel Hoen is in the lead with four to three. Moving on to the next question. This may seem like an easier one to my mom, but Israel and I have shared every single childhood story ever lived. So, this technically should be even. Who was an easier teenager, Claudette or myself? The correct answer is me. I was a really easy teenager. Let's see what your boards say. Israel Adrian, says. hands down. What did you say? I said you. Okay, why was I an easy teenager? Because your sister was not. <laughs> <laughs> Score is five to four. Israel's got one up on you, mom. Stay with it. Okay, what is the craziest interaction or just the strangest interaction I've ever had with a fan? Think about it. Strangest interaction? The most interesting thing that's ever happened with a fan. Just interesting. You got it, mom? I think so. Okay, here we go. The strangest thing that's ever happened with the fan is that she became my assistant and then became 
the executive of my entertainment company. That's Lana. I no way! Hey! <laughs> oh my God, you both got it? Yes. Lana was your number one fan and is now your assistant. Executive she, assistant. Sorry, exact, my dad. Give her the uh, respect I that just, she deserves. I'm sorry. But. She has become your assistant. That is so true, you guys. Lana was actually like the person that ran or like helped start Team AB, which was my fan club, like my squad, my nearest and dearest fans. And she actually came to the reel and won a contest as my number one fan, and she now spends every single day with me, and I always look at her sometimes when I'm like half-dressed, and I'm like, do you ever think that it's really strange that you were my fan, and now you help me put my Spanx on? <laughs> All right, let's keep this going. Like, I have to get you guys, like I have to stump you on uh -huh, something. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. All right, what is a movie that always makes me sob? Oh God, you guys seem so sure of these things. I will not look. Go. Both are ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. The movie that always makes me sob is Steel Magnolias. Boom! You got it too? Yes! Okay, and I'm gonna tell you why it always makes me cry and what do I always say? The scene that makes me cry every single time is, I have two scenes. When the mom is in the hospital with Shelby and open she's like, open. open your eyes, open, open your eyes! Because that whole entire scene who do I always say it reminds me of? Your mom. Mom, you are the mom in Steel Magnolias. The part when she's coming back from burying her and mm. they're walking back. Yes. That if you've never seen really? Steel Magnolias, oh pause gosh. this for a second, Spoiler. fast forward 13 Spoiler seconds. Alert. Spoiler alert. But definitely, what should they do? Go into mm. the comments and tell Comment us if you've below. seen the movie Steel Magnolias. Yes. It is, guys, what is it? It's my... It's your favorite movie. It's my Remember favorite movie, movie yes. ever. I could walk all the way to Texas, but my Shelby never could. <sighs> okay, moving along. I'm gonna find one that's gonna stump you. Go. Okay, go for it. What is my favorite season? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? We don't have clearance yes. for that song, Mom. <laughs> oh. That's why she did it short I had version. It's a short version. <laughs> okay. My mom's vocals, though, are bad. Phenomenal. <laughs> She's my favorite singer of all time. My mom no, would I like to show you her phenomenal so. vocals by singing right now <laughs> Happy Birthday. Go. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Cause you birthed me, you birthed Happy me, you birthed me. Write your answer down. Winter, spring, summer. Winter, or spring, fall. summer, or fall. Mm. Please, Ma. Mama. 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 Mommy. <laughs> you wrote it? Mm hmm. Okay. Go. My favorite, and I got it from my mother is that I love the summer because I love the heat. And I got that from you. I know, but We literally can sit birthday. in 105 degrees and be like, because it's your birthday, I said fall. See, that's where singing that song got you confused. <laughs> we told you to sing happy birthday, and then you roll fall when you know I love to be in the heat. I know. Ma, based on that answer, you, you have fallen. The current score is eight to six, reminder, Whoever gets to 10 first is the winner. Mommy, please. Mommy. 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 Mom. Mommy. Mommy. What is my favorite restaurant? In the world ever? What is my favorite restaurant ever? Just straight up. Ma, you took me there. You're the reason why. You can't be giving her hints. I didn't give a hint. You did. I didn't, she's my mommy. <laughs> I know I Mama. have this wrong, he won. Mama. One, two, oh, I gotta say mine. My favorite restaurant is Red Lobster. <gasps> Sorry guys, he won. McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you have birthday parties there. <laughs> My mom is like, Adrian is a very classy girl with a very elevated palate. She likes McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> No, granted, Most people are still laughing at Red Lobster. Gra 
Hold, hold on. No shade to hold the on. Hold on. Hold on. It's all about the cheesy no. biscuits, though. No, it's about it, the, no, it is not. It is about leg. lobster fest, crab fest, and, and dipping it in the in the melted butter. That's giving you cholesterol. <laughs> well, that's why. <laughs> no, for real, you guys. Red Lobster is my favorite restaurant. The way that I can sit and crack crab legs, I can just sit she there. She has and a I, technique. Yes, show them how. I use the, the light in the restaurant, right? So I take the leg off, right, the thing, and I hold it up, and I use the light to show me exactly where the meat is so that I know where to crack it. Yeah. And then I crack it, and so then I get really the good. whole piece oh. whole, and I just be killing it. I'm. That's a talent and a gifting that God has given me, and I have the anointing to crab legs. Okay, so the score is nine to six. Yes. This could determine who wins right here. So, the question is, if I could resurrect anyone, who would it be? A celebrity. Oh, okay. It's important, because like, I'd like to bring Tita back. Yeah, yeah like yes, weird. yes. Celebrity. Who would it be? Is that your final answer? It is. Nilda. Okay. Is that your final answer? Mm -hmm. If I could resurrect anyone, naturally, the queen of Tejano music, Selena. Boom. You both got it. But Israel wins. Because that gets him to 10. It's okay. You were so close, mommy. I was. Ma, you were so close. Mommy. Adrian. So close. You're the real MVP, though. <laughs> you won. That's awesome. Whoa. That would be weird if In I... your face, <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> but that would be weird if my husband didn't know me. He's with me every single day. Yeah. Does that's you like do you like that my husband? I, that's a You're glad he thing. won? I am glad he won because that means oh, that. I would have wanted you to win, Ma. No. I expected you to win. No, but I'm I actually a little disappointed in the fact <laughs> Serious, you guys, this was so much fun. I really didn't know who was gonna win because the both of you know me so well. If you've ever played this with your mother and your husband or your significant other, let me know who won. And in the comments, comments below. below. That's right. And who would you resurrect? I'd actually be curious to know who would. Who would you celebrity. resurrect? Yeah, that was a great final question. Great question. Yes. Who would you resurrect? What celebrity would you bring back if you could? Who would you resurrect? Celebrity. I think I would probably Maya Angelou. Oh, great. Yes, still I rise. Yes. Michael Jackson. Oh, really? Absolutely. We, I felt like he had more to do and more to say. Greatest entertainer of all time. Let us know in the comments, comments below, below who you would resurrect. And don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Look at this. We are just a YouTube familia right here. Love you guys. Mwah.